evening, everyone. Eid Mubarak to all of you. Thanks so much for having me here this wonderful evening. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we're meeting on the lands of the Rundry of the Kulin cool Nation. Thank you for a beautiful welcome as well today. Uh, and acknowledge uh, those past, present, and emerging. And acknowledge this was always and always will be Aboriginal land. It's very special to be acknowledging um, country as well. Uh, in a week that the Victorian Parliament passed the first ever historically part of the legislation that is hopefully going to move us towards a treaty with our First Nations people, a long overdue treaty, and Victoria the Living Way. I'd also like to acknowledge all the wonderful guests here this evening, the mayors of uh, Hume, uh, Mayor Porter, Mayor Kavanaugh of Northern City Council, Councillor Natalie Wood of the North East Ward of Northern Council, as well as Councillor Bolton from the North East Ward. Um, thank you to all of you for the work you do at local government. Uh, I was honoured to have been on Moreland Council for five years and I can tell you local government is such an important part of uh, democracy in Australia and our councils just work so very hard for the community, often with little reward and recognition, so a big round of applause to all of you. I'd also like to thank Mina. Um, it's uh, incredible to see your work grow and grow. Thank you for hosting these wonderful dinners and I know all the work that you do in the community. Um, often, you know, behind closed doors, working every day with communities. Uh, I know you work with Fourth Community House as well and building real networks and partnerships. It has been wonderful to see these dinners grow bigger and better every year. A testament to the wonderful networking work that you do. So congratulations and thanks for having us all here this evening. Uh, Ramadan is such a special time of peace reflection and generosity uh, and has been wonderful to see, particularly over the last decade, how the spirit of Ramadan is being shared and enjoyed by more and more parts of Australian <coughs> communities. We came to Australia over 28 years ago from Sri Lanka originally and I can tell you at that time there wasn't a lot of this kind of really grassroots multicultural uh, sharing that was going on at the time. But lots of our multicultural communities work really, really hard to build that up. Uh, over this Ramadan season this year, one of my highlights has been uh, being hosted at an Ita, a home Ita dinner. And the Intercultural Society have a great home Ita program. They're looking for hosts. If you're interested in doing it, I highly recommend it. We were invited into someone's home, and the home Ita host hosts about five to 10 people. And there are people from incredible walks of life that you otherwise wouldn't get to meet. It was an absolutely, it was an absolute highlight of this Ramadan season for me, and a testament to the spirit of Ramadan being shared by more and more people. I think when we have the opportunity to learn and share the best parts of each other, of ourselves with each other, that's when true multiculturalism actually emerges. Having grown up in Sri Lanka, where you have Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim, Christians, all living side by side. Our lives were full of sharing each other's religious and cultural festivals with each other every single month, going to somebody else's home, learning about the best and most wonderful parts of other people's religion and culture. So I want to thank so much the community here for opening up your homes, your culture, so that we can all understand and learn from each other. I think it's a real testament to Australia's multiculturalism getting stronger and stronger. I'm now in the Victorian Parliament after being in local government for five years in the Upper House in State Parliament and the leader of the Victorian Greens. I'm here to help and serve you, so please be in touch if I can help you. And I'm here, here to support Mina and its work as well. Um, it will be an honour and a delight. So I'm wishing you all the best for the evening and thanks again for having me here.